welcome to episode 59 of our Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification In-Depth Training Podcast brought to you by Bright Flux. I'm your host, Yakub Abdul Hakim, a certified Snowflake user here to guide you through everything you need to know about Snowflake for data warehouse and ELT or ETL processes. This episode is crafted to be as detailed as possible, aiming to assist you in acing your certification exam. Let's dive deep into the world of Snowflake, a platform that has revolutionized the way we think about data warehousing. Built for the cloud, Snowflake offers a unique architecture that separates storage from computing, enabling a flexible and scalable approach to data warehousing. First, Let's understand what makes Snowflake stand out. Its multi-cluster shared data architecture allows for high availability and concurrency, ensuring that your data is always accessible when needed. This architecture not only supports traditional ETL processes where data is extracted, transformed, and then loaded into the warehouse, but also accommodates ELT processes where data is extracted, loaded, and then transformed within the warehouse itself. The latter is especially beneficial in leveraging Snowflake's processing power to handle complex transformations. Delving further into ETL and ELT, these processes are crucial for preparing data for analysis. Traditionally, ETL has been the go-to method, but with the advent of powerful cloud platforms like Snowflake, the tide is shifting towards ELT. This is because ELT can offer more flexibility and efficiency by making use of Snowflake's on-demand computing resources to process data rapidly. Moreover, ELT processes align well with Snowflake's capabilities to handle big data and perform complex transformations at scale. Interestingly, when planning and implementing an ELT or ETL pipeline in Snowflake, there are several considerations to bear in mind. Firstly, the design of your data model is critical. Whether you opt for a star schema, snowflake schema, or a more denormalized approach, your choice will influence the complexity and performance of your data transformations. Furthermore, Snowflake provides various tools and features to support your data processes. Snowpipe for instance, enables continuous automated data loading, keeping your warehouse up to date with minimal effort. Similarly, Snowflake's support for various data formats, including semi-structured data like JSON, allows for diverse data sets to be incorporated seamlessly into your warehouse. Additionally, managing computing resources effectively is paramount. Snowflake's unique approach allows you to scale computing power up or down on the fly without impacting data storage. This flexibility ensures that you can optimize performance and cost according to your workload's specific requirements. Security and governance are also key areas where Snowflake excels. With comprehensive data encryption and fine-grained access controls, Snowflake provides a secure environment for your data. It's crucial for businesses to maintain the integrity and privacy of their data, especially when complying with regulatory frameworks such as GDPR and CCPA. In conclusion, mastering Snowflake for data warehousing and ELT or ETL processes is integral to passing the SnowPro Advanced Architect certification. Remember, it's not just about memorizing facts, but understanding how to marshal Snowflake's features to design efficient, secure, and scalable data processes. Stay curious. Explore the platform thoroughly and you'll be well on your way to becoming a certified Snowflake expert. Thank you for tuning in to episode 59 of the Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification In-Depth Training Podcast. I hope this discussion has been enlightening and will aid you in your certification journey. Until next time, keep experimenting and leveraging Snowflake to its fullest potential. Goodbye.